I give myself a really wide base to start with. So I, I sort of know the distance. A lot of people measure it out, but mine's about a meter. Give myself a good bit of space. Um, and I place my foot perpendicular with exactly where I want to inject out to. I make sure it's not touching the line. You don't get called up on that very often, but if you do touch the line, it's foul. Um, so I make sure I'm behind the line. I take a reasonably large step, really open body. And again, my foot and back foot are sort of perpendicular from each other. Um, I make sure I'm not over the front of my knee. You want as long a drag as possible. So if I'm over the front of my knee, I've already shortened that drag. So I'm nice and long, but I'm stable. I'm not off balance because your stability means you can really put power through the ball. When I go and take the ball, I, I get it in the hook and I just give it a little touch. Sometimes they can be a little bit stuck to begin with. Just give it a little bit of touch and I get my hands low. Really important to get your hands low, especially when it's hot. If it's sticky, you can come over the top of the ball by raising your hands up. Um, also, again, if you're low, I've got that real stability. I move my weight to the back. I'm transferring the power from the floor and from my legs, biggest, strongest muscles of the body. So I'm going to back foot first, weight on the back foot. My leading movement is always with the legs. Again, same, I want the power from the legs and I'm looking for a low movement through the ball. I'm not coming up early and going over the top of the ball. I'm keeping my hands low and the real power comes from the rotational energy. So this hip hop. So from here, as I'm coming through, it's this hip hop that really whips the ball through. That was, that was quick. Follow through is towards my target. Power before accuracy. Accuracy comes later, um, but get it out quick. It, from this position here, you want your follow through towards the target. It's a bit more if you think like a cricket stroke, where you're leading with that front elbow. You're not rotating round. You want it to come nice and straight through. You can get a bit of extra whip by going around like that, but you lose accuracy. A lot of people, when they inject, they keep their feet planted because it's easier, you're stable. But what you're doing is you're losing power. When I follow through, I follow through with my body. By stepping through with this leg, I'm able to follow through towards my target. That was full tilt. Yeah, I was gonna say that had a bit of pace on it. That was full tilt. After my follow through, with my next step, I'm turning and getting into that position. It might be here to receive the ball and shoot. It might be here for a deflection. If I'm not involved in the routine, there's gonna be a shot. I know where the shot's gonna be. If, if they're shooting on this post, the closer post, I'm looking for the rebounds, probably from the, from the keeper's feet. I don't wanna to get too close, because then it's gonna go past me. So I sort of wanna be in a position where if it's rebounded, I'm low and I can get to it. Super basic terms, get it out fast. Priority number one. Priority number two, get it out accurately. Priority number three, get it out flat. Um, if you can do all three, you'll need to do all three to be really good at it. Ideally, in, in international hockey now, I would say um, you want to get the ball out before number one runners are getting over the penalty spot. Um, if not, a metre before. And if you can do that, then you give your flickers a much wider target. Minimise your target in your head. So. I'm not aiming for your foot. I'm not aiming for your stick. I'm aiming for a very tiny speck on your stick. Or if you want it on your foot, I'm aiming for a tiny speck on your big toe. If you really minimize your target, you then minimize your, your error effectively. So tiny, tiny target. And then as far as timing goes, once the ball's on the spot, everyone at the top of the D should be ready. Then it's on me to pick and choose when I inject it out. Obviously I can't wait too long. But for example, if, an, if they're taking a bit of time to get set up in the goal, the defensive team, and I'm set ready, I'm going as soon as that whistle blows. Equally, if they're really ready and they're in that position, no one wants to be in that acceleration position for long. So I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna set up and I might wait a couple of seconds because they're waiting for that go. And if I make them wait a little bit longer, that, that first step might not be as powerful. There are different techniques. I think mine's the best. Um, 
And with my technique, it's about lower body stability and rotational energy. Um, go online, ask strength and conditioning coaches, um, ask people at the gym. There are loads of exercises to get you strong through your legs, through your hips, through your glutes. Any rotational power exercise is great for injection. Full faith. <laughs> well, that'll be good on the cameras anyway. That's a good outtake. Uh, 